everyone. In this computer fan flight test video, we're going to be testing these uh, 120 mil. They're all 120 by 120 by 35. We've got two deltas. We got a Nidec Beta V, another Nidec Beta V with different uh, number of blades, and an NMB. A Nidec Beta V, 0.8 amp, uh, 120 by 120 by 35 mil. Ooh, 10.1 ounces. Now, first is a Nidec Beta V rated 0.8 amps. Well, I can definitely smell that now. And that's it. Complete open circuit. NMB, 0.9 amp, 120 by 120 by 35 mil. And only 8.6 ounces. Here we got the NMB rated at 0 0.9 amps. I hear crackling sounds. I've maxed out on the very act. What the hell? It's still going? Oh. There we go. Oh, that one was a beast. Didn't think it was going to fly though, but wow, it, it held full power for what felt like quite a while. A Delta 0.9 amp, 120 by 120 by 35 mil. About 8.8 .8 ounces. Alright, up next is a Delta, also rated 0.9 amps. This one feels like it's getting more lift. 
I don't know how much, but it definitely feels like it's more than the NMB was. It's really close. And the RPMs isn't going up even though the volts are. But it's it's really close. Oh, that was uh, that did better than expected. I mean, it was borderline. An IDAC Beta V 1.4 amp, 120 by 120 by 35 mil, 10.2 ounces. Up next is the IDAC Beta V rated at 1.4 amps. Oh wow, just completely went open circuit. Well that sucks. Okay, so after a bit of dremeling I found the fuse, or I bypassed it with a bit of solder, tested it, it ran but it started to smell and smoke, so I shut it down. Um, I don't think it'll ever fly, but let's see what happens. And yeah, that's another thing. I actually need to start it, so it's definitely got some damage circuitry in it. And it's drawing way more current than it should be. No, that's it. It's toast. Delta 1.6 amp, 120 by 120 by 35 mil. 10.2 ounces. All right, last one up is a Delta rated at 1.6 amps. Oh, what the heck? Okay. That was rather odd. I wonder if this is when was already damaged in some way. Well, let's make it more damaged. Well, that was very disappointing. Um, yeah, I don't know what to make of that. I got a few more of these ones. Maybe I'll uh, do a test and see if another one dies.
I don't know. Okay, so after looking at the the Dell for a moment, uh, maybe you guys can see this too. So the proper Dell, which got to a very high voltage and almost flew, is this one here. And then you've got this one here that blew right away. Now if you guys don't know, other than the Dell thing, um, everything about this logo, the text, the writing is different. I don't think this is a real Dell, I think this is some kind of knockoff. Because, um, I mean, the, the font is a bit different. Even the logo is a bit distorted versus this one here. And uh, something else I noticed, I'm, I got one other fan I'm going to just test, but I'm not going to blow it up. But um, upon looking for another one that was 1.6 amps, I didn't have one, but I forgot I had this guy here. Now it's it's got a rating of 3 amps, but look at the model number. They're exactly the same, yet their amps are completely different. That doesn't make much sense to me. Now this one's also got a Dell thing on it, which means you believe that this is a knockoff as well, and not a real Delta. But I will run this one up to about 15 volts, just to see if it will actually fly, and uh, yeah. So, long story short, I don't think this is a real Delta, I think it's a knockoff, and I think that's why it didn't get very far. Alright, I'll give this 3 amp Delta a try. I don't know what its weight is, but let's see if it can actually fly. I mean, it's still, it's still quite heavy. I don't really want to blow this one up because it does push a hell of a lot of air and I've only got this one. If I had several of them, yes, I would push this to the breaking point, but I just don't want to on this one. Um, so, uh, yeah, I guess that does it for the 120 mils. So uh, hit that thumbs up, uh, subscribe, um, check out the other ones, and uh, stay tuned for the uh, tiny 40mm uh, push-pull configuration fans. Thanks for watching, everyone.